Total dissolved solids is a measure of minerals in water. It's measured in milligrams per liter. The most precise way to measure it uh, is in a laboratory. You completely dry out and evaporate the water and you see the minerals that are left and you weigh them. However, there is a uh, simple way people can do it themselves. That is by using a TDS meter. What this does is it measures the electroconductivity of the water. Specifically, water itself does not conduct electricity, but when there are minerals in it, electricity will conduct through it. So if we measure how much the electricity is moving through the water, then we can tell the TDS level. You can see the screen, that screen, that 0.0, .0 milligrams per liter, obviously, because it's not in the water. So we will start with We'll compare two waters. This water is Hilden from the UK. It's a medium mineral level. Okay. So there you can see we're getting a reading of about 266 milligrams per liter in the Hilden water. We will next try our own Svalbardi polar iceberg water. So Hilden is a mineral water. Svalbardi is an iceberg water, which means it did not have a chance to pick up minerals when it uh, fell as snow and was compacted into ice in a glacier and then became an iceberg. So the TDS level is very, very low. And you can see here, we're reading about 15 milligrams per liter versus about 266 on the Hilden. Iceberg water will vary a little bit um, just because each iceberg is a little different. Uh, so sometimes we have single digits, sometimes we have numbers like this. So that is a handheld TDS meter.